Okay, there's an old carpenter's rule that states measure twice, cut once. All right. So you look at this, you look at this tape measure right here. This right here is called your hook. And the black piece of metal right there. This is your hook. If you look at the hook, it has play in it. Okay. See that movement right there? Yep, you see that? Okay. And I have you look at the thickness of the hook. The thickness right there is about a, a 16th of an inch. And that's the reason why this hook moves like that. It's not broken, okay? So when you're using your tape measure, all right? Now this part of your tape measure here is called your blade, okay? When you're using your tape measure and you measuring material, if you come down here, you can put it up against your stock like this, okay? And your hook is going to move to compensate uh, for the thickness of the hook, okay? Now you can do the same thing when you hook it on the outside of your material, okay? Now that's the movement for the hook right there. It's not broken, okay? Now, <clears throat> if you look on the blade of your tape measure right here, you see these black numbers here it's in your inches, okay? In your inches, and you can say it's representing the bottom of your blade, all right? Those are your inches all the way till you get to this 16 right here uh it's red for a reason okay this is your spacing for studs uh joists ceiling joists okay so it's readily identifiable okay so every 16 inches you're gonna have have a uh red marker okay there you go 32 right there that's your 16 inch spacing right there all right 48 okay now like i said these black numbers all the way represent your inches. And represent this side of your of your uh, tape measure, all right? So if you look at the top, look at the top, okay? Look right here. The top has feet and inches, okay? That got your one foot, okay? Which is also 12 inches, all right? So you can read the top part of your measurement as one foot, one inch, okay? one foot two inches okay one foot three inches and on okay keep on going the same way there your two foot all right two foot one inch two foot two inches all right there's another identifying marker i want to show y'all and that is your black diamond which is right there that's 19.2 inches or 19 and 3 sixteenths i believe on the tape measure and that's gonna be spaced every 19.2 inches on your tape measure, and that go the other all the way through this 25 foot tape measure. Okay, now 19.2 is for um, engineer lumber and um, trusses. Okay, you're not gonna too much use that in residential. Now, now we look at our other markings right here, which is your hash mark. Okay, let's start at one inch for teaching purposes, okay? It's one inch right here. You're gonna start at one inch for teaching purposes because you don't have all the hash marks right here starting because remember your hook, your hook is a, is a hash mark. So let's start right here for teaching purposes at the one inch. Okay, in between an inch is 16 equal parts, okay? Uh, from one inch to two inch is 16 equal parts. And let me show y'all better on this piece of paper I got over here. Okay, let me explain this the simplest way I know how. In between an inch, right, is 16 equal parts, okay? We can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, now these parts are labeled uh, with these lines, which are called hash marks. All right, got these hash marks here. Okay, now this 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 tape measure is written written off in sixteenths of an inch increments. All right, if you look right here, this is one sixteen, two sixteen, three sixteen, four sixteen, five sixteen, six seven, eight sixteenths, all the way till you get to sixteen sixteenths. Right which is a whole number, okay? In this case, it's two, 
all right so let's go to your half inch hash mark okay right here half inch hash mark which is eight sixteenths all right now in the field you wouldn't say eight sixteenths because just like in school you know fractions are reducible so by finding the gcf right your greatest common factor this reduces to one half because in this situation here eight is your greatest common factor or gcf so eight goes into eight one time and eight go into 16 two times that's how you get your half inch so in the field you don't say eight sixteen you say half inch all right now <clears throat> You're going to have to get familiar with these hash marks that's highlighted in red, okay? When you get familiar with these hash marks that's highlighted in red, you can more easily navigate through your tape measure, okay? Now, all the fractions that can be reduced, right, in your sixteenth of an inch increment, you know, look right here. This is two sixteenths. It reduces to one eighth. This right here is four sixteenths. It reduces to one quarter. Look over here. This is twelve sixteenths. It's reduced. It, it reduces to three quarter. All right. So if, if you look at your scale, uh, fractions like one sixteenth. Okay, you can't reduce that. The odd number three sixteenth. Okay, that can't be reduced no more. Okay, that's also an odd number, and so on. All right. Now. There are tape measures that's marked off in eighths of an inch increments. And there are tape measures that's marked off in 30 seconds of an inch increments. Carpenters usually use sixteenths of an, in, of an inch increments, okay? Now, looking at this scale, once you get familiar with the hash marks here, these hash marks, which is your half inch hash mark, your quarter inch hash mark, your eighth of inch hash mark and then your sixteenth of an inch hash mark okay once you get familiar let's say if I had to find nine sixteenths I will automatically go to this longest hash mark right here which is your half inch hash mark which we know is eight sixteenths now I gotta find nine sixteenths that's one hash mark over okay nine sixteen boom easily you see what I'm saying easily found you see now let's say you gotta get three quarters three quarters right here three quarters you see how, how the hash mark sticks out this hash mark here is the same length as this hash mark here that's your quarter inch hash mark this is three quarters okay you gotta get familiar with your hash mark all right so if you like this content hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell become my apprentice temple builder